here today to, to talk about ODG. And excited because we're not talking about VR. And we're going to take the blindfolds off because we've got a beautiful world that we live in and there's nothing that we have to do to replace a new one. But even after billions and billions of years and tens of thousands of years for us living on it, we can always have a little bit more information about what it is that we're looking at. And that's really what we want to do. We want to take information and we want to put it in the place that's most relevant to you so you know what's going on and enhance your world. We keep hearing the glasses are very far off and that's because glasses are hard. I don't know what this is, but when I type hard into Google, this is the equation that I got. And I thought it was kind of cool because it's got AR right over, right over here. So glasses are hard, and that's your mnemonic to always remember. When somebody asks you about glasses, you remember that, and it's hard. And we know that because we've been doing it since 1984. Our founder created the PVS-7 night vision goggles, which were one of the first wearables. The challenge was to make those light enough to not give the soldiers who were wearing them migraines, and Ralph was able to do it. Also, if you look at the evolution over the years, we've done everything you think about that you're hearing that's new. Here's waveguides over here in 2010 going all the way through what we've got today. And today we are talking about the R7s. These are the ones that I don't have with me. These are the undergrad players glasses that have been out for about a year and a half. We released these in December of 2016. They're being used in all kinds of different applications. Number one is telepresence. They've, these are the different specs on the glasses. As you see, everybody always asks, 30 degree field of view, and it's really simple why. When you put your laptop on your desk in front of you, that's 30 degrees, and that's what you see without moving your eyes. If you're a surgeon working in the surgical field, you don't want to have to look around to find where the data is. And if you're a lineman on a pole or whoever you are, you want all your data right in front of you. So it's great for enterprise. We just released, and those go for 2750, and we've taken the backlog down to two weeks. So if you order them today, you get them about one third the time it would take you to get a pair of Apple AirPods. And we're happy about that. Um, Haslock, half of the people we've sold into 45% of the Fortune 500, as I mentioned on the panel, and half of the people who, with the glasses, wanted them for hazardous locations. There was actually, and it could have been Charlie who's here that wrote it, I think, in the Forbes article, they said that if these were on the oil rig, we wouldn't have had the spill in the Gulf of Mexico. So I can't show you the video because I don't have enough time, but if you want to go in and look at the CNET video, you can see the video of launching BBs at it and dropping them from heights and putting them in refrigerators and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. These are all the cer different certifications for the Hazlock glasses so that you can put them, you can wear them on factory floors, you can wear them on oil rigs, you can wear them anywhere where you would be wearing goggles and you get to wear your same helmet that you've been wearing for 20 years that has the picture of your significant other etched into the side. Um, these are the R8s. These are the ones that I'm walking around with and the ones that I'm going to demo for you on. We launched these at CES and we're really proud that, that we were the first ones to use the Snapdragon 835 and had it live up and running on the floor of CES. Um, Qualcomm digs us. The glasses are all about blackness. The glasses are all about being Haslock? No. Okay, come on. Okay, mobile. So what we're looking at is what is the best package that we can give you to deliver all of your content anywhere you want it, indoors, outdoors, anywhere. Mobile, 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 4.3 ounces, comfortable to wear all day long. Snapdragon 835, so we're not sacrificing any kind of power or efficiency. 40 degree field of view, 16 by nine aspect ratio, six stuff, inside out tracking, and very easy to develop for, Android-based, most ubiquitous platform in the world. Use Unity, use Unreal. With Euphoria and Otoy on Unity, you just pull down the tab, you output to ODG, to wearables, and you're using them. Charging them while you're using them, really, really important. If you want a device that lasts all day long, you want to be doing AR. If you play Pokemon Go on your phone, thank you very much, Kevin. It'll wear down in two hours or less. So if you're using AR intensive applications, it's no different on the glasses. We can't change physics and we don't do magic. But um, you can charge them, plug them into a belt pack while you're using it. Did I lose everything? I lost my computer. Okay, so you can charge them while you're using them. Our, and uh, we've announced the price at under $1,000 coming out at the end of the year, going out to developers in the fall. And we're really excited about that. Um, our nines. 
The R9s are also mobile, they're slightly larger, they've got a 50 degree field of view. When I was in um, New York earlier this year, or just past, this past last year, I was showing to Alex, he didn't like the R9s at all, but he did like the R8s. Um, R9s are bigger, they've got a 50 degree field of view, same six off, same inside out tracking, and they have an expansion port on the front that you could use if you wanted to do something like Lighthouse, or different cameras, or a leap sensor, or something like that on the front of them. You can put them on that. Everything else is basically the same, 1850, and blackness. Um, these were THX certified. We're really excited about that. THX was developed by George Lucas because he wasn't happy with the way his films were being projected. So he certifies movie theaters, and there are a whole bunch of directors that will only let you be in that theater. They came up with a certification for wearables, and we were the only ones that they found that they would give the certification to. So that's because we have a pixel-free cinematic display, no screen door effect, no shimmering, just perfect. And like I said earlier, you can read all the way down to eight-point text. So we think it's a, it's a great way to watch a movie. Blackness again. OK, this is Citrix. I'm not showing you this one because I don't have enough hands to hold this to show you the demo. I'm going to show you something else. But we just announced that we've integrated Citrix, so your entire office is available securely into the glasses. Anything you want to do, any configuration that you want for the monitors or anything like that, this is somebody running it and just running, walking around our office in San Francisco. And here is one, again, I didn't have enough hands for, but this is uh, Preston in our office built this just to show some of the stuff we can do with glasses. That works with our analog stick controller. We have a blue tick tooth analog stick. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Okay, you're looking at the glasses, you're looking at yourself, looking through the glasses, you see my finger. I am going to give you the AR version of the teapot right now. And there it is. I mean, come on, the demo gods are smiling and that's all you can do. <laughs> Go ahead, anybody who doesn't applaud, good luck getting on stage with a live demo. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we can focus, we can bring it in, and now we can walk forward. We can walk over here around it. We can go over and walk into the earth. We're going to get into the sun. And look at the resolution. You know, there's a lot of talk about what happens when you get within one meter. Should I pull it up? OK. There's a lot of talk about what happens when you get within one meter. And I mean, you can see we're holding the resolution. We're, and everything looks good. We can follow the planet around if we wanted to, and I can walk around with him. I can walk around with a satellite. Um, let's go out to something, get you in a little better. Let's go out of that, back into the interface, and you can see that we're seeing all of you because it's see-through. Let's go into, how about medical? Um, anatomically incorrect, but here we can go over to get to a different, I'm picking up, you know what, so we got excited about the demo gods too earlier, I'm picking up somebody's face in the front row that's really messing with the, um, with the gaze. So here we can move to, with the gaze driven, to different systems in the body. It's digestive, and we can get all the way up, there's muscles. And look at him. And we can walk around him. We can get to the skin layer. And no, he's not anatomically correct, but Barbie would be just fine with him. And if I had enough cord here, then we can walk around him as well. So he's locked in with a six stop. And the last thing I'll show you, the thing that, no, you can just sit on the toilet. The thing that we like to do, the one that always sells everybody who says that they hate glasses, because everybody's used to VR where the barrier is threshold is pretty low, which is this app won't make you throw up, I promise. So nobody wants to put glasses on, and when they, when they won't wear them and everybody says I hate them and they all suck, we show them this one, which is, I like to say, your desktop of the future. So now we've got the desktop, you're looking at that, and I promise you that you'd be able to read text, and there's a web page. More important, there we go. And we can walk closer, and we can see that movie. And then we can go over here, and i got a couple of other screens. So now you're sitting on the airplane, and you're able to go through everything. Now you got your Citrix if you wanted to, but sitting on the plane, you can set up this whole desktop, work completely in private, and be able to see anything you want. And some people will do this at their desk at home also. So 
I could walk around. I'm going to be here walking around with ones I got wearing here. Everybody's welcome to see this on their own. But I guess we're doing this for the audience watching at home. But anyways, those are the glasses. Out at the end, these will be out at the end of the year. Developers, fall, end of the year. These are the eights that are sub $1,000. And we look forward to all of you and tell your friends to develop stuff for them. That's really cool. Thank you.